The purpose of this video is to make a real simple model in SWIM version 22 that has one watershed, one node, one outfall, and one link to show you how simple it is to do a, a model. I'm going to use liters per second. We're going to use auto length so that when we draw a pipe or, or draw a, 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 a subcatchment, the area will be calculated. We use our tool over here to generate the area for our watersheds. We now add a junction as an outfall to the watershed. We add a outfall to the model. And now we connect the junction to the outfall by using the link tool. And we're going to make this a culvert. The culvert codes can be found in the help file. This is for a circular culvert. Two meters in diameter and the offset will be one, one meter. Our outlet will be junction two. And we draw an outlet there. We need a rain gauge though. And we, before we do a rain gauge, we need to make a time series. So we're going to call it time series. We'll call it storm. And it'll be one millimeter and we're going to have one millimeter and 10 millimeters for 15 minute increments. And the 15 minutes is very important. That's the key value that you have to enter when you're entering a storm in SWIM 5. What is the increment of time? All right, so now we have our um, one, one minute, one, one hour rather than 15 minute uh, rainstorm. And we come over here and define our rain gauge, call rain gauge one. It will have a, use the time series just, we just made. It has an increment of 15 minutes and millimeters of, units of millimeters. We can then drag it out here to the, um, to the, to the view. We can also expand this so that everything is, is created. We're going to report the input summary. We're going to use dynamic wave. We're going to use a minimum of one second time step and a maximum of 30 second time step. And we'll save this for every five minutes will be the output. And we'll use keep. I always prefer to use keep as the option there. So let's see if we can run this model now. We had a, a little error here. Uh, we forgot to uh, go back and define where our subcatchment rainfall is. So that's gauge one. Before we do that, let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to save this as my small network. <coughs> now we'll go ahead and run it. Ran it. We can now see the output. Continuity error. Et cetera, et cetera. We can see that the what the runoff results were. And we can also graph what went on in the model. So we come over here and we'll go, what, are our, what is our precipitation? What is our runoff? And we can view that. We can also look at map display. We can see what the runoff is over time. And we can, we can view that. So that's a real simple model in SWIM 5. Very simple to set up and very easy to, to implement.